Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we're at Beasley Long Siberia and we're doing a film ongoing from the cheap gun versus expensive gun. And we've come back and I've picked a range of guns from 500 pounds to a thousand pounds. So we've kind of done the, the sort of 150 pound ones, 200 pound ones. So the next level up is if you've got 500 pound to 1,000 pounds, and there's lots of different guns, new and secondhand ones. I've got a range of, I've got one new one, and I've got a range of secondhand ones, just to see what is good, what is bad. We're gonna go through each of the guns, then we're gonna shoot them, and we're gonna say the, the bits and pieces that you can get with them. So in this range, there are lots of guns. So if you think I want to take up shooting, but I've only got five, six, seven hundred pounds to spend, this is exactly your film to see what sort of gun would fit you and what is the best thing. And don't forget, in my previous videos, even if you want to spend between 500 and 1,000 pounds, go to your shooting school. They will help you pick that gun for your budget. So set yourself a budget and pick a gun for your budget. Because whether you're spending 500 pounds, 800 pounds to 1,000 pounds, or whether you're spending three and a half grand, the gun fit still counts. And there is still enough guns out there on the market to get a gun off the shelf that will fit you as near as done it. Okay, that gun might not take you to the Olympic Games, it might not take you to win the British Open, but it will get you off. And things like the comb height, the stock length, is vitally important even when you look at that. So I've got a range of guns and I'm just gonna go through each one just to see where we go and give you an idea of what you can get hold of if you go into your local shooting school and pick your local, um, pick your, your budget guns up. So the first thing is I've got a, a, a classic double. So again, this one has got, if I mount the gun, it's slightly lower in the comb than what I personally like, but if you're quite fat in the face or quite a big, big chunky person it's quite heavy it's a little bit low in the comb it has got a recoil pad on it it's got one of the older recoil pads on it so they're not as soft as a new one but they still absorb some of the recoil gold trigger selective safety catch this one has got a thick trap forehand on it so if you've got big hands this would fit you very well multi choke ventilated rib Again, it doesn't have ventilated barrels, but for £499, this is a good starting block off if you've only got that sort of money to spend. Again, like I said, the only thing I would say is when you go to your shooting school, well, just have a look at this comb height. This one is a little bit flatter in the comb, so if you're very tall, this probably wouldn't fit you as much. If you're a bit more shorter and fatter, a little bit more chubby in the chops, this would fit you a bit better. So that is your first 500 to a thousand pound gun. The next one I've got is I've got a Browning Medlist. So these were absolutely fantastic guns. They were imported by Browning. They were made by Fiat in Italy, which makes a lot of the, the Italian gun manufacturers. Um, again, we'll come back onto that in another film. And these were built, Browning wanted to bring out a gun. They don't make them anymore. They wanted to bring out a gun that was sort of retailed at about £650 because they didn't really have a budget gun in their range. So this is where the Browning Medlist comes. And they are a really, really well-balanced gun. Okay, they don't have a recoil pad, but when they built these, they didn't really have them. These were built, Browning bought these out probably about 15 years ago. There's still quite a few on the market, but they sold a lot of them. They've got selective barrel on the safety catch, gold trigger, ventilated barrels and ventilated rib, multi-choke. This is actually a sporter one. They did do a game one and a sporter one. This is a sporter one, so it's got the rider rib. Again, it has, it's quite high in the comb like a normal browning. They actually did that deliberately. So obviously, generally, an Italian gun has got flatter in the comb, but this is where browning went over to Fierce and said, I want this spec on this gun, um, and they did it. And I have to say, there is hundreds of these being sold, and they were a brilliant little starter gun for anyone that wants to spend £650 on a gun. 
Now you can pick one of these up, so I thought of 500 pounds, four, 500 pounds. So a brand new medalist is definitely still in my box if you've only got four or 500 pounds to spend. You've then got the Yield It's. Again, the Yield It's is pushing it up a little bit more to sort of 750, something like that. This is actually a second hand Yield It's, which is about five, seven, five, 600 pounds. Again, the Yield It's, ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs, multi-choke, selective safety catch, recoil pad on the back of it. Um, again, this one's got quite a big grip, not as big as the classic double, but this is quite, it's got quite a high comb on it as well. So again, this is, it's not quite as high as the Browning, but it's not as low as things like the classic double. So this is a good gun built. They are built like a houses basically they're really good value for money they don't fall apart even the new ones are about 750 pounds 800 pounds so you can pick one of these up for sort of 600 pounds 650 second hand and generally they are really good they've been out now for about five to ten years but they just they're just workhorses so that's the yield it's then you've got the better zolly so a new Bettenzoli, generally, you're going a little bit better. The Bettenzoli, again, is another thing out of the Italian gun manufacturers. They've got, they've started to get the better, but now that you're looking at sort of a 900 to 1,000 to 1,100 pound bracket, but for that, you get a better recoil pad on it. This has got a really well good recoil pad on it. Selective safety, ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs, multi-choke. A little bit nicer engraving if you look all around there they've got better engraving they've got slightly better wood again they're reasonably high you can pick some of these that are quite high they come out quite high so for Italian guns I believe the um, the better Zolli I believe is Italian's best kept secret they're just a really well balanced gun they're built like if you actually look at the inside of this one, and you look at the inside of a Cesar Guarini or a Rizzini or something like that, they're just as good for half the money. So if you're looking at Italian gun, I personally would set your goal on one of these. They're not a big, huge company. They're a little family company that produce some excellent guns, value for money. And I believe that up with something like a Cesar Guarini, they do not charge in the money for it. So that is one gun that if you want to spend around about a thousand pounds, look at the Bet and Zolly range. So that's that. You can get some second-hand ones. So I've I've found a second-hand Bet and Zolly there with an adjustable comb. They can do them with adjustable comb. And again, you can pick second-hand ones up for sort of six to eight hundred pounds. Ventilated ribs, ventilated barrels multi-choke again you cannot fault the bet and zolly range second hand or new they're as good as some of these expensive gun italian gun manufacturers the quality is there as good as them but they just they're still charging sensible money italian's best kept secret and then if you want to go up a little bit more there's a, a very old there, Maruku 6000. Again, low in the comb. So again, you've got to make sure that it fits you correct. At this, this sort of, of gun, they didn't have the, the, the pad, the recoil pad on that. They just had the original plastic Maruku buck pad. Selective safety catch. This is a sporter, so it's got a wider rib. Ventilate, uh, ventilated rib not ventilated barrels on this well, at this age gun um, it, they didn't really come with the ventilated barrels just with the rib this is a fixed choke one you can get a multi-choke one but this is a fixed choke one and this sort of gun is about 650 699 so you're getting a maruku gun for great value for money and then you're getting to there was an mk70 there this one has had a kick easy pad put on it this is about 899 900 pounds that sort of thing kickies pad not ventilated barrels but ventilated ribs fixed choke selective safety catch this is kind of the top end of your your budget 
Um, but you can still pick some of these Marukus up for under a grand. So this one is under a grand. So this is your Maruku really on that range. So that's a good range. Again, this isn't the MK38, this is the MK70. So this is a little bit flatter in the comb as well. So that's really, that's really your Maruku range. So that's a good, a good all round starting period of what you look for in a 500 to 1000 pound gun range. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go start from the bot, start from the back and work through. I'm going to shoot a couple of three pairs with each one and just talk you through each one and what they are and where they go. Again, thanks to Fiocchi. I'm using Fiocchi F Blacks for this fantastic value for money cartridge. You cannot beat them for a cartridge. Olympic cartridge, but Olympic cartridge at a sensible price.